uh, the Battle of Gettysburg is um, often regarded as, as one of the turning points in the American Civil War. It takes place roughly halfway through the war, and it, it happens at a time when the Union Army of the Potomac, it's one of the, kind of the premier field armies that are, that are serving the American Civil War, it, it happens at a point in time when that, that, that particular army wasn't doing particularly well previously. They had suffered a number of defeats. Uh, the men they were losing confidence in, in their generalship. They were losing confidence, some of them, in the very cause for which they're fighting. And all of a sudden, uh, the Confederate Army, led by Robert E. Lee, in, invades Pennsylvania, a free state. And so, I think if you go back and you, you read the words of the men, uh, they felt that this was kind of a do-or-die moment for them. That if, you know, the men in this Union Army, if they lose another battle, maybe they lose the war. And uh, they fight for three days on the Gettysburg battlefield. Uh, over the course of three days, roughly 51,000 Americans become casualties. So 51,000 men killed, wounded, missing, captured. But at the end of those three days, this kind of battered Union Army, the Army of the Potomac, has been able really for the first time to decisively beat this Confederate Army led by Robert E. Lee. So a lot of Union troops, this is an incredible morale boost for them. It doesn't end the war, uh, but it shows them that yes, they can win and they can beat the Confederate Army. And looking back on kind of the, the span of the four years of the war, a lot of men both in the North and in the South, looking back on it, said, you know what, the, the tide kind of changed at Gettysburg. Uh, the, the, uh, the momentum that the Confederate Army had ends on this battlefield, and now the Union Army starts to pick that momentum.